on the evolution of cancer. Darwin kneeling in the jungle, painted sunbird on his shoulder, fluted wings spinning lines of honey around his ear. He doesn't know about the islands yet, the book that'll make him famous, gradual tapering of beak, elongated feather, unstoppable advance of the rows of mutations. For now, everything is static. Overhead, pale blue bird's eye in the ocean of clouds. He hears a sea drop and imagines incense to ashes, time tunneling. This is what it must feel like, I think, to be at the edge of the precipice. The same reality, still dangerous, still bruised with fear. 150 million years ago, a feathered creature the size of a crow died and was trapped in sediment. I imagine this as a microscope slide, the computer image. It must have been in me all along, before any ancestors were even born, fossilized in amber, waiting to be discovered. Wings evolved because bipedal animals were leaping into the air, their bone walls thin and diffused together, the wishbone became stronger and more elaborate, the central keel along the midline of the breast. I no longer care, the body is dead, the form gone. Somewhere deep inside the jungle of my body is the plumage of a dividing cancer cell. I've heard the story before, how the cell evolves, evades treatment, blends into the structure of tissue, becomes the tissue. How could anything transform inside my body? These openings and hollows, my skin filled and emptied with light. Swan to golden pheasant, puffin on the sheer cliffs of the Antarctic to wild duck in the lake country. Their beauty only a product of their variations, slight changes, the disease more terrible because of unstoppable metamorphosis. Sometimes I imagine the metastasis as the moment the glittering prairie of the Atlantic recedes from view.